These AI baby videos are getting millions of views on short film platforms. Creators with just a few videos are pulling 4, 9 or even 14 million views on each video. And not gonna lie, they're kind of addicting. I catch myself watching them too. I've spent the past week figuring out exactly how to make these and honestly it turned out to be way easier than I expected. And right now is the perfect time to jump in before the algorithm get too saturated. So in the next few minutes, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process so you can create your first viral baby video today and capitalize on this trend. Let's get into it. Alright, so first we need to create a baby version of whoever you want to turn into a baby. So what I'm going to do now is head over to TikTok and search for some viral podcast clips. Basically, I'm just looking for videos that have already blown up. After scrolling for a few minutes, I noticed that Theo Von clips were getting the most views. It makes sense. The baby talking thing is funny, so it works way better with comedy podcasts. I would say if you're going to try this, just go with your favorite podcast. Like me, I love watching Theo Von's podcast clips anyway, so I'm going to use his as the example. Now we need an image of him in his podcast setting so we can turn it into a baby version and animate later. What I'm gonna do now is head over to his YouTube channel and take a screenshot of a video clip I like. I like this one where he's talking to Mark Zuckerberg so I'm gonna take a screenshot. On Mac I'll press command shift 4 to bring the snipping tool. If you're on Windows it's a shift Windows S. Next we're gonna head over to ChatGPT, upload this image and use this exact prompt. You can grab it from the description if it's easier. What we are doing here is using the latest GPT-4 image model to turn our character into baby version. It's actually kind of crazy how good this is. Then we'll just hit generate and wait for the image to be ready. While we're waiting for our image to finish generating, we're going to do something else in the meantime. Basically, we need a viral clip of Theo Vaughn, something with his voice that we can use on the baby image we are creating. So what I'm going to do now is head back over to TikTok and just search for Theo Vaughn clips. I'm just looking for something that's already gone viral, like a video with high views or lots of engagement. I'm just going to go with this one and copy the link from the video. Then I'll go to this website called Snaptick. You've probably used it before and paste the link here to download the video. Once the video is downloaded, the next step is to get the audio out of it, since that's what we really need. So for that, I'll go to Google and just search something like video to MP3 converter. You'll see a bunch of free tools come up. I'm just gonna use the first one. But honestly, if you're already using an editing app like CapCut, you can just import the video there and extract the audio directly, whatever is easier for you. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video file now. All right, so once the video is uploaded, just press on convert and let it do its thing. It might take a few minutes depending on the size of the video. And then once it's done converting, you will see the option to download the audio. I'll just hit download and save that audio file to my computer. We'll be using that in the next step. Okay, so our image from ChatGPT is ready and here's the results. And honestly, it looks really good. Like it's super realistic and it kept all the main features from the original photo, which is kind of crazy. Now, before moving on, make sure you're actually happy with how it looks because this image is basically the foundation of your whole video. If something feels off, no big deal. Just tweak the prompt a bit. Maybe describe the background more clearly or be more specific about the outfit. And don't forget the original photo you use matters a lot. If it's well lit and the face is clear, you're going to get way better results. Once you've got that locked in, you can easily do the same thing with your own photo for anyone else's, depending on who you want to turn into a baby version. So for this example, I made a baby version of myself. What I did first was upload a photo of me in the same chat and ask it to do the same thing. But for some reason, and chat GPT turned into a 3D animation style. So I just copied the same prompt and started fresh in a new chat. And yeah, it didn't disappoint. The result was actually really good. All right, so now we've got our image and the voiceover ready. The next step is to animate the image and sync it with the voiceover so it actually looked like the baby's talking. But this, I'm gonna be using Hydra AI. It's honestly one of the best tools for this kind of thing. All right, so let's head over to hydra.com and sign up. It's free, you just need your email. Once you're in, it will ask you what you wanna create. In our case, we are making a video, so I'm gonna go with video. And they give you 300 credits every month to generate videos and images. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll upload the voice file and the baby image and Hydra will take care of the rest. It's gonna turn that image into a talking baby using the voice be uploaded. Also make sure the aspect ratio is set to 9 by 16 since we are making vertical videos for short form platforms like TikTok or Reels. Let's upload our voice first. Click on audio script, hit upload audio and select the voice file we extracted from the Theo One clip. Now if you're using the free plan, just a heads up, there is a limit on how long your video can be. It's usually around 20 seconds which is actually perfect for short form content. So now I'm just going to trim the voice clip and bring it down to around 20 seconds just to make sure it fits within the limit. But if you're trying to make something longer, you got two options. Either upload your plan or just create a few clips and stitch them together later when you're editing. Honestly, if you're planning to keep doing this and we want to make it more seriously, I'd say it's worth upgrading. It's not that expensive, like around 10 bucks a month for the starter plan and you will get way more value for your money compared to a lot of other AI tools out there. Anyways, after we uploaded the voice file, we're going to upload the baby image we just created with ChatGPT. I'm just going to click on start frame, then select the upload image option and choose the image we just made. 
made earlier. Then we'll paste this prompt. I've dropped it in the description if you just want to copy it. And that's it. I'll go ahead and press generate. And then we just wait for the video to be ready. Processing might take a little longer on the free plan. So yeah, just be patient. It's totally worth the wait. All right, so our video is ready. And honestly, it didn't take that long, maybe 10 to 15 minutes tops. Here's the final result. Turn off for me, can't swim. If you can't swim, honey, I mean, the earth is 80% water. So if there's, you know, if there's a tsunami and so you trying to get on my back, bye, bitch. I'm doing me. Yeah, it's actually really funny, like way better than I expected. Seeing the baby talk with Theo Vaughn's voice is just wild. Now that the video is ready, we can go ahead and edit it. You can use whatever editing app you like, but for me, I'm going to use CapCut for this. I'll add some captions to make it look more polished and keep it engaging, especially for short form platforms where captions really help with watch time. So here's how you can do it. Just open up CapCut, start a new project and import your video. Then click on captions and it will automatically generate subtitles for you. Super easy. From there, you can head over to the right side panel and pick your favorite caption style. Play around with the fonts, colors, and animations until you find something that fits your vibe. Now, if you don't feel like doing this manually, there's actually a website called Submagic. You can just upload your video there and it will handle everything for you. Captions, zooms, cuts, all the edits that make it look dynamic. So yeah, if you want to save time, that's a great option too. Now you might be wondering how people make those podcast clips where it looks like two babies are having a conversation, like these ones. Dogs know English. Dogs know the language in which you speak to them. You go to Mexico, they speak Spanish. Oh, really? What's a Mexican dog sound like? Eeeh, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more complex than what we just did. Basically, you need to generate images for both speakers, then go through the audio and carefully cut each part where one person talks, and then animate each speaker separately using Hydra, and then bring all those clips into your editing app and stitch them together so it looks like a natural back and forth conversation. It takes a little bit more effort in editing, so I didn't want to throw it all at you right away. I just wanted to show you the basics and help you get a feel for how this works. But if you do want a tutorial on how to make the two person version, just to drop a comment comment below and I'll make a video walking through the whole thing step by step. So yeah, that's how you can make those AI baby podcast videos that are literally blowing up right now. It's honestly that simple and they're getting millions of views. Quick recap, first find a viral clip or a celebrity you want to turn into a baby, preferably in a podcast setting. Then use ChatGBT to create the baby image and animate it with Hydra AI. And then you can edit it in your preferred editing tool. And make sure you upload your videos on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook so you can get the most reach. This niche is super fresh and there's tons of space for new creators to jump in and make something cool. If you end up making your own baby podcast clips using this method, drop the link in the comments. I'll love to check it out. And if you're into making viral animated videos using AI, I actually made a video showing how I created an AI animated story short. If you want to check it out, just click on the video on the screen right here. And if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. I'm always testing new AI tools and finding creative ways to make viral content. So you'll want to stick around for what's coming next. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.